Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'll be showing you how you can create a multi-step form in your WordPress website using a free plugin. And surprisingly, you can upload files using this form and everything you will get using a free plugin. That's the fact of this training. Okay, let me introduce you with the plugin. Here goes the plugin, Forminator, and it's by WP Mu Dev, the popular developer team. Well, here goes the form that I will create in this video training. It has three steps, step one, step two, and the final step. And the first step, the user will add their basic data. They can't go to the step number two if they do not fill out the required fields. That's very fantastic. So once they complete the step number one, like just full name and email address and phone number, then the user can go to the step number two. Uh, here I'm going to add my data for step number three. Now I can go to the step number three or final step and you can go to the previous step and anytime you can edit your data. That's fantastic. Here you can see I can upload a file, the recent image. Once everything is done, just hit the submit button. And here you can see, thank you for applying for the post. You will be in touch shortly. That's the thank you message and it disappears within a few seconds. And the visitors will see a new form again. That's fantastic. And you will get the data of the users from your email address and from the dashboard also. Okay, so let's get to be started. I'll do the job in three basic steps. Firstly, I'll just install and activate the plugin. Secondly, I'll just create a form and add fields to the form. And thirdly, I'll just display the form using a page builder or using shortcode. That's all. So let's start with step number one. Just install the plugin. And to install the plugin, access the dashboard of your WordPress website. Here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website. To install the plugin, go to plugins and click on add new. Here I'll search for the plugin. And here goes the expected plugin. Just click install now button. Click activate. And the plugin has been successfully installed here. Forminator by WP Mu Dev. Okay. And on the bottom here you will see a menu called Forminator. And here see dashboard, forms, polls, quizzes, submission, integration, etc. So let's start with the dashboard. Here goes the overview of your forms. Okay, at the moment I have only one form. And if I go to the forms, here goes all the available forms. Already I have created this form for the demo purpose. And if I click on write, here you will see the form related data how many times the form was viewed and how many submissions and conversion rates, a lot of things. And go to the this gear icon and you can preview this form like this. Okay, fantastic. And you can copy the shortcut, you can unpublish, you can view submissions, you can duplicate this form, you can export this form or you can delete this form if you are not happy with this form. And if you go to the edit button then you will also be able to edit the fields of this form so let's create a brand new form to create a form here you will go to forms and you will see a button called create just create on here and you will see available templates you can create a blank form contact form newsletter login registration a lot of things i'm going to create a blank form hit continue 
here you can see blank is selected and hit continue and just name the form i'm going to name it second form hit create and here goes the interface to add fields to this form okay on the left here you can see appearance behavior email notification integration and settings regarding this second form and on the right here you can see save as drop preview and publish we haven't add any field so i have nothing to show or preview so let's start with inserting fields okay friends to add fields to this form click here on this button and here goes the available fields so firstly start with name click over here and click over here on the below to insert fields and the name of the field full name and here you can see add your placeholder you can enter description and on the right you can see setting is it a required field or optional i think it's required and go to the style you can add additional css classes and visibility okay so go to the level and hit apply so i have already added a field okay so i'm going to hit publish and hit preview here it is so i'm going to very quickly add some fields full name email scroll down insert doc email address yes it is required hit apply okay hit apply i'm going to display this field in step on so what i'm going to do to create a break or create another step just go to insert fields again and here goes page break just insert page break then now it will start with step two okay hit update and if i preview now you can see the step begins you will see pagination from here you can change it to step on finish or final hit apply okay what you will insert after this page break that will be go to the step number two so i'm going to ins click here to insert field to any input okay any input and name it phone number apply insert again website okay so this is for step one this is for step two let's go for step number three or you can add as many steps as you want so again go to insert fields and click on page break insert so it begins step number three here i'm going to add uh, what file upload you can upload files uh, you can add multiple file you can add single file and go to the setting you can make it required and here goes the uh, limitation of the file you can set it to 100 megabyte or kilobyte or byte and show files in media library okay enable it and a specific file type here you can select or disable any specific file type if you would like to allow only pdf file just you can select it and unselect all of this so image only jpg and png document only pdf or doc file okay these are pretty pretty easy settings so you can configure it yourself just click apply okay that's all about the form now i'm going to hit update and preview it and here you can see three step right now so i have easily created the multi-step form 
once you click on step number two you will go to step three just i'm going to add my name and it will send me to step number three in the same way it will send me to the final step so here you can see page or here you can see a step i'm going to change it to a step two i'm going to close it so to change it you will have to go here on the pagination and here you can see page two and rewrite it to a step two so that's all click apply well friends by now i have completed adding the fields to the form so let's see appearance from here you can select the design of the form okay here goes flat style here goes bold style here goes material style here goes none just select flat style and here goes the color you can use custom color for respective fields Let's say for example input field you can change color from here okay and you can change font from here font container anything else okay hit update now i'm going to publish this form and for some other settings like email configuration i'll get back again to include this form what i'm going to do i'm going to get to forms again here goes second form click over here click to copy the short code and go to my page well click on all pages go to pages and here goes the page here it is and i'm going to open it with elementor page builder okay and i will add the form here just click on the plus sign and here search for short code i'm going to drag this short code wizard to add the short code and drop here and here i'm going to paste the short code and it shows the form just click apply and hit update i'm going to preview this page and here it is i have just easily add multi-step form okay so if you would like to change the colors of these buttons you can easily do that i showed you and uh, let me configure some settings so go to the forms again uh, i was here and let's go to the email notification from here you can change the email where you would like to receive the form data okay and integration you can easily integrate any third party application and go to the settings here goes the setting options so let's fill up this form okay i'm going to fill up here my name email address click over here and it goes to the next step phone number and website go to the next step here i'm going to upload the file and send message okay thank you for contacting us so let's check my email address in your email you will see something like this new entry and the sender if you click on here you will see all the files and at the same time if you go to the forms here you will see the submissions i mean how many times the data the user sent okay click on it and you will see the data from here just go over here here you can see the form submission at the same time you might get an email okay with the respective data okay that's all probably i could show you how you can create a multi-step form with a free plugin so friends that's all for today i would like to say that this plugin is very user friendly and you can easily create any type of form using it so thank you for watching don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel i'll see you again with a new video